coin is it? It's a coin. Oh, you little twacker. Oh, it's a fibula. You little beauty, what a cracking find that is. Oh, oh, you stunner. First find a Roman silver. Good afternoon, fellas, on a beautiful sunny day. It's 30 Celsius today, so pretty hot. But uh, I've got a drink with me. It's a frozen bottle of water, and, and with it being this hot, it's in a like a, a container that keeps it cool there and it will melt slowly and I can have a, a drink every 15 minutes or so just a mouthful but that's enough to keep you hydrated so we're going to crack on I'm on the field where I was yesterday and I did quite well on here and I'm starting on the on the border now of my permission and I'm going to do this systematically and see what comes up there's the first hit I've been here what 10 minutes less than 10 minutes don't know what it is I've not even picked it up yet uh, but it's a coin, it's, it's looking like a Nazi World War II coin because it's all scabbed up and that's how they are. But let's carry on, first coin. 23 signal, another button. Just a big chunk of lead, I'm not doing so well today. I've been out, what, half an hour, 35 minutes, something like that. And that's all I've found. Uh, as I go towards the bottom of the field, I'm getting a lot of interference. But uh, having said that, I can see a communications mast down there. So that's probably got something to do with it. But that's where I made my best finds yesterday. Well, just walking back to my car and alongside the road is a bit of a wasteland. And I thought, well, I'll leave my detector on and bingo. I found nothing on the land I'm supposed to be on. And a one kreutzer on the land that I'm not supposed to be on. <laughs> anyway, back at my car in one minute. I'll keep it running till I get there, see if anything else crops up. This time I found a badge pin still on the back, so pretty modern. Could be World War II, just don't know. There is something on there, can't quite make it out. I can't wait to get that cleaned up. That might be Nazi, you never know. Well, I've dropped lucky again. Just dug a shovel for that and I can see it. Ooh, you bugger. That's a nice big thick one. Four dear, 1700s that is. Beautiful. Don't know what it is, but it's big and unusual. But that's as thick as that lot. Normally 1700s, I'm hoping that's a Roman, <laughs> but I don't think it is somewhere. Be nice if it was. That would be nice if it was a big fat Roman. It might just be. It might, I can see a head on there very faintly facing to my right that way just vaguely make it out what a cracking find I can't wait to get that cleaned up no idea what this is looks like a boot look but I'm not sure but it's purpose made for something it's modern I think well, this give me a stonking 33 signal. I don't know what it is, it's a stud, maybe it's off. Maybe it's modern, probably modern. But I like the pattern on it. Well, I might as well take that with me, you never know. Might need it one day. These are the fins from a mortar shell that landed here in World War II. Maybe Russian, maybe German, who knows. All right, fellas, I uh, just want to fill this video out because it's just too hot to go hunting. I did a bit of hunting, which you'll have just seen. 
and I'm on with another project I'll show you and tell you what it's all about here's my tools got some tools out there I've got more tools in there and this is what I'm doing I've got to build another one so I'm holding the camera now because I want to show you this at the last minute okay so I built a table and two benches my wife's son's got a burger place in Bratislava and there's a couple of benches and two tables short and I took the measurements and photographs of the one the ones that he already has and this is an exact replica of what he's already got so uh, you know even if you think that the rough that's how the others look they're made the same way and they've got to everything's got to look the same so I've made them exactly the same way um, there's the two benches that one's upside down at the moment I've just put these bracing things on there the legs that one's the right way up and that one's that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera up there I'm going to cut all the pieces I need show you that uh, and then I'll assemble another one and I'll show you how to do that all right so there's the completed benches and table and I'm starting on the next one and what I've done is I've been fixed all the materials and I've cut it all up to size uh, these these were four meters long so 16 17 foot long and um, they're the they're the legs for the stools or benches that's the legs they're the braces that's the back legs that's the legs for the table and that's the table tops and the uh, bottom underneath the table braces these are bottom bench braces uh, so everything's cut all I've got to do tomorrow is I've got to cut them on an angle like that and I can start assembling I'll show you why I cut them on an angle so you can put that backrest at an angle up there like that you see let's see cut them down there on an angle so I'll film it all tomorrow when I get on with it today I'm going for a swim right well I was going to show you step by step um, on how to make these tables and benches and um, I didn't do it I've finished now I've made two two tables two benches there's the two benches I've made you can see that the separate lot okay so I've got two benches there and here's the table upside down so I've done my job got a bit of wood left over I've left everything it's been really really hot last few days and when the sun gets in here it's like a, a trap a sun trap so there you go two tables four chairs four benches and then I'll take these down to his restaurant in Bratislava um, I won't charge him anything just all I want to do is cover my material costs and um, electrical costs and running about and stuff diesel costs so I'll take these down and they cost me round about for one table and two benches about 150 euro each something like that maybe a bit less there you go